Hello, I'm artist Jenny Florvita. Welcome to my studio gallery. Today I'm unveiling a new oil painting. It's titled The Canoe. It's 48 by 24 inches. In this video, I will share with you the creative process and how I painted this piece. This fall I worked on a 48 by 24 inch oil painting that is titled The Canoe. I'd like to share the painting process with you. This oil painting was filmed over several days and several sittings and took many hours to complete and you are watching it in fast motion. I began with the canoe as a central focus. I'm blocking in colors with oil paint, trying to keep my brush strokes fresh. All of my art is about creating happiness and joy by celebrating color and expression. When I'm creating a new painting or chandelier, I'm always trying to imagine how my clients want to feel when they look at my art in their homes. I've been blessed with literally hundreds of beautiful notes from my collectors and receiving these appreciative notes always makes my day and pushes my art onwards. This is kind of a big canvas, and I'm really in the underpainting phase. This time I didn't do a turpentine gesture wash. I want this painting to evoke a quiet feeling. I did block in the gesture of the coconut palms early on, just as a placeholder. I utilize these gestures to create emotion. Anyone who is attracted to this type of beauty, this type of scene, because the world has many, many different types of beauty, understands the power of the sway of these majestic palms. For me, painting is a process. I'm not an artist who sticks to a formula. I paint in the moment. These scenes were taken in Santa Cruz during a break where I let the canoe dry in between layers of paint. These trips refill my soul with inspiration. We were at the boardwalk during a time when rides are only open on the weekend. My life in California also supplies me with endless inspiration. I spent a significant amount of years living in the Central Coast region and it will always have a special place in my heart. During the pandemic, I haven't been traveling to Hawaii like I would in past years. Instead, I've been spending time along the California coast, really admiring its beauty and soaking it all in. It's good to see my son become more comfortable along the ocean's edge. It fills my heart with happiness to see his independence blossom. I share this trait with my collectors, but I indulge in an undying, simple pleasure of observing and capturing the beauty and essence of the world around us, more often than not the Hawaiian Islands. There is a calm and uplifting essence to the subjects that I select to paint. Do you have a favorite island or beach? Comment below or send me a message, I'd love to hear. Back to the canoe as the main subject. It's the special focus of this painting. Capturing the texture of layers, the peeling paint, the weathered wood, is the type of challenge that I love. Something unexpected that I discovered while filming painting videos this year is that I really love reliving the creation process while I'm editing. Because when a certain work of art is sold, it's gone forever. The process of painting is very necessary to my soul 
and simply watching my working process brings me almost as much joy as if I'm painting in the moment. That's how much I love to paint. Every time I edit videos, I'm inspired to get back to my easel. I am instantly reminded that my life's purpose is to paint and create and share the joy of a colorful world with others. Blocking in the mountain range is always a fun part of the painting process if I'm painting mountains in a scene. This is Kauai. The mountain ranges surround you in Kauai. They tell their own weathered story. In this painting, I have it in my mind that I want this beautiful range to be pushed back. I'm going to hold off on some of the crazy de detail that goes into my work. I'm pushing my art into a new direction to see if it works. It's just the thought that I have about this particular piece. Art is work after all. It's a process. I'm not a formula here. No matter how many years I've been painting, and I've been painting for a very long time, I'm creating in the moment, especially when I paint in oils. I want this mountain range to have its own distant and mysterious beauty. I want the sky to be filled with a happy, happy blue, that type of clear blue, the, the type that you get only after a brief rain in Kauai. That's what I'm going for in the, in the sky part. This part of the painting is still in, the, in its underpainting phase. It's getting its first layers of paint now. I love painting coconut palms and I think I paint them well. They have been a subject of mine for over two decades. I'm giving them a dark underpainting because in this case I want to evoke a stoic and stately feeling and in my experience, um, palms feel more playful when I, when I don't necessarily build, build the coconut palm with a dark underpainting. For this, for this scene, this is exactly what I wanted to do. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification if you'd like to be notified by YouTube um, for my next video. I also have a newsletter list and the link for that is below. And to my collectors, thank you again. I, I couldn't do this without you. Thank you.